in just in the message of of my film about oneness um before we close the interview do you have a message to the audience listening about how to come together more in oneness in their own body through your vibration and the experience that you've had through the music that you're producing for the world and how that channels that oneness and that connection to self and others yeah this planet any yeah. message <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, you know, one of the reasons why I, I use the 432 hertz tuning system is because it really does, if you look at the frequencies of all the notes, they really do align to some of the, um, you know, the fundamental organizational principles of the universe. So the, the, the mathematics that underlie creation are represented through, uh, through this tuning. And, you know, in the music that I created for, uh, for Tahi, for your documentary film, that's all um, tuned to 432 hertz, too. Mm -hmm. And my, you know, my, my thought, my theory, and there's a lot of information online about this, and people can research more about it. For us, it's, you know, the 432 hertz is kind of like, it's a way of, of aiming our intention to come into oneness with the universe itself, to come into oneness with spirit, mm -hmm. which has this amazing technology uh, that it that it you know transmits throughout creation. It's in the flowers. It's in the human body. In the ratios and proportions of of every uh, natural structure in the universe, from the distance between the planets between the sun and the moon and the earth. These ratios and proportions of the golden mean show up again and again and again throughout creation. And mm -hmm. what I suspect is that the more we are conditioning our, our nervous system and our brain to hear these sounds and to kind of, you know, resonate in these frequencies, the more these synchronicities will become observable to us, the more will be able to have the awareness of oneness um you know emerge right. in our in our consciousness and so you know i just want to i want to transmit those frequencies and i want to transmit that intention and so tuning in this way um really does that you know and with aurora arialis um and and the the album between two worlds James and I sat down and we're looking at how to bridge the gap between, you know, oftentimes contradictory and opposite ways of perceiving and thinking. You know, this world is so complex and so intricate in its design and its diversity. Over, over all of it, there's this fundamental appearance of duality. And sometimes those contrasts of duality are so huge that mm -hmm. it's hard to reconcile. And so we, we, we sat down to kind of talk about how do we reconcile these extreme polarities of, of being in this world while we see all the devastation and the insanity. And at the same time, in that, in that presence of oneness, in the recognition of the divine perfection, Everything is already whole as it is right now, you know, from that from that awareness outside of time, outside of the personal, you know, mind. There's there's an insight, a, a kind of, um, you know, trans trans rational or transcendental type of awareness to to perceive oneness as as the fundamental reality of of existence, but right. its appearance. Um, isn't always so available. It doesn't always show up as such. And so how do we reconcile that dichotomy within us? And so we sat down to create some, some music that could explore these themes, that could mm. explore the themes of darkness and light and how do they come together and what is their role in relationship? You know, musically speaking, how do we convey these, these, these fine-grained emotions of some of the mystical states that we uh, have accessed at various periods of our life and, and, and convey that on a, a musical level. Well, you can't have the dark without the light, so. Yeah, you can't. You like can't. They have to work 
together on this planet. That's that's how your that's what your music is exploring. So yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah. So you yeah. know, I think that's kind of the message of between two worlds is is um, you know the the reconciliation of opposites, the and the bridging of of poles, so that as a backdrop for the the themes that are are really um, central in people's lives, particularly those who are on a spiritual path and who are who are doing the inner work and doing the the shadow work and doing the meditation process and uh, expanding their their consciousness to apprehend greater and deeper uh, dimensions of truth. What would what would the music sound like? That would be the theme, the background, you know, the backdrop of those those experiences. Wow. Well, thank you, Asa. That's Wow, such information. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, if people would like to donate to his album, he's going to put the link on, on this uh, teleconference. And also, it'd probably be on your website as well, right? 